Hey guys! Today on the video tutorial, we're going to be talking about how I curl my hair with a curling iron. Uh, I have a video for how to curl with a curling wand, but lately I've been using a curling iron, so I thought it'd be fun. And that's what you guys voted for. I asked you on Instagram which one you wanted to see, and this one won. So follow along and I'll show you how I achieve this look. Okay, so what you're going to need to get started, first off, is a curling iron. Today I'm using, this one's from Hot Shot Tools, which is very similar to Hot Tools. This is a titanium barrel, and the size is one and a quarter. Um, you're also going to need some sectioning clips, and then when we finish, I usually use a texturizing spray and a hairspray. So to begin, I usually take my hair in three sections, and my hair still has some curl from yesterday, so I'm just really kind of resetting the curl. So I set my top section first, flip that out of the way, take the handle, flip that out of the way too. Now yesterday I had used a heat protectant spray, so today I won't. We give it a good brush through, we don't want any tangles. So to get started, I usually curl front pieces away from my face. I'm taking about an inch. So I clip the barrel in about an inch from my scalp and I twist as I go. I don't take it one whole piece and wind it up, I twist as I go. Then I leave out my tail about an inch. Then to take it out, I let it untwist. That way it kind of pulls the curl down and it's not quite as big of a bouncy curling iron curl. It forms more of a wave once it's relaxed. And then sometimes if you want to form more of like a not as so uniform curl pattern, you can take some of the middle pieces in the middle of that section and curl them in the opposite direction. If you want a more polished look, then you want to curl all in the same direction, but sometimes this creates more of a looser kind of beach wave look. So I've got two that go backwards and one that goes forwards. And I try not to let the clamp hit too hard because that can form kind of a crimp in your hair and you don't want that. And you just kind of have to know your hair to know how long to hold the curling iron in. And normally I do like to use a curling wand, but lately with the humidity, I feel like the curling iron helps keep my curl better because I'm putting heat on both sides of the hair. So this one I did the opposite direction. And when I'm done, I will do the same, kind of let it unwind itself. So once I've gotten everything curled on that layer, I just leave it alone. Go on to the next section. Around my face is kind of where I get some of my curly and wavy pieces. So on some of those to smooth them out, I just use the back side of my curling iron. Careful to not burn yourself. And I just kind of smooth them out. So like I said, at the front of the face, you go away. And then pull down and release. And the sections I'm taking are a little bit bigger than an inch. Um, I've taken sections as big as two inches. I've taken as small as the inch. Um, it just kind of depends on what your overall look is going to be. If you want more curls, then yeah, you'll take smaller sections. And if you, if you have one that comes out a little bit too curled, just give it a little bit of a tug and it'll relax. Now 
this one I'm going towards my face just to change it up. And see, you can see that curl is slightly different from this curl. And when you get to the back of your head, obviously it gets a little trickier. Obviously, you can always pull out a mirror just to make sure you get everything. That's why when I start, I usually try to take it in two halves and pull it towards my face. But on this back section here, it got a little wavy while I was sleeping, so I'm just kind of crimping it down and gently allowing it to straighten it back out. And then I will go in and curl. And if you're interested on how to curl with a curling wand, I do have a tutorial for that too here on YouTube. So you can always watch that. And on some of these sections, I'm just running my fingers through. You can certainly use a comb for speed and efficiency. I'll just use my fingers. opposite direction. Sometimes you have to tell it what to do. So the end of that one was a little bit unruly. I'm going to go back and set this one for just a little bit longer. There we go. Much better. middle and then keep. I let off on the clamp just a little bit as I twist and take more hair up into it. Okay, that section's done. Now for the top. Anything, if I've gone different directions on the bottom sections, anything on the top, I take all the same direction. And like I said previously, if you've got any waviness, just use the back, kind of smooth it down. I'm just holding the hair a little bit taut. Helps to relax any wave. Okay. So these are kind of my not quite bangs, but bang pieces. So these are taking a little bit of a smaller section. And you wanna be really careful to not crimp. And you wanna keep the barrel going in the direction you want. And these I will pull down. Try to get them to relax a little bit. Now when I say you want the barrel to go in the correct direction, I'm not trying to curl my hair this way or some funky different way. I want it to go how I want my hair to lay. So that's why I'm keeping the barrel going the direction I want the curl to fall. And obviously I'm not super precise on my sections. I kind of like it that way. I don't want it to be too uniform. Like I said, I want this, I want it to end up being loosely wavy. Not like a super curled. And when you get to the back, like I said, it gets a little bit harder. You can always check yourself with a mirror. So I do have a little bit of wave. I'm gonna smooth that out. And 
and my hair generally holds curl well. I can have it last up to a day or two. Um, so if you're someone that doesn't have hair that holds a style, doesn't cooperate, um, you can easily uh, hairspray each section before you move on to the next. That kind of helps to set it. But since I like mine looser, I usually don't. But that's always clearly an option. Okay, so once this is all done, I generally like to let my curls set and cool for a couple minutes until I go in with my texturizing spray. Um, so that's probably what I'm gonna do, and then I'll be back to show you how I use my spray. Okay, so now that it's been a couple minutes, I'm going to go in and finger rake through some of my curls, try to break them up, and I kind of shake as I'm doing this. Now, obviously, if you want to hold those curls, don't do this, but this kind of helps to break them up. And you can also take a pick, kind of loosen it up at your scalp. Gives it a little bit of lift and breaks it up. So then I will go in with my texturizing spray and then I'll set the final look with hairspray. Normally when it comes to texturizing spray, the holy grail product for me is the Orbe. Um, but it's expensive. So I have tried out this OGX Aspen Extract Texture Spray. This is fantastic. Love this as well, has a wonderful smell. Um, but today I'm testing a new product. You guys can go along with me on this. Um, this is the Kenra Platinum Dry Texture Spray. I just bought the little size just to test it out. But usually I apply this from mid to ends. And you can kind of lift. And I kind of, not quite scrunch it in there, but kind of use my fingers to kind of rough it up. And this says that it helps to hold for up to 48 hours. So I generally don't apply texture spray at my roots because it has a tendency to make my hair a little bit frizzy. But like I said, I have naturally curly frizzy hair. So that's just my hair personally. If you like that texture and you have fine hair, then by all means go for it. So I've got this about where I want it. It'll continue to relax as the day goes on. So usually I like my hair best about an hour or so after I've done it. But today I'm going to set the final look with the Kenner 25. This hairspray is like the Mecca for me for hairsprays. I like stop using it and then I go back to it. I stop it and then like, why did I stop using it? Always go back to it. I'm just gonna give it a light spritz. Kind of style my hair like I want it. Get that underneath. It's where my curl tends to relax the most. It's on some of those underneath sections. The Kenner 25 also has humidity resistance. So if you're looking for a humidity proof hairspray that also has hold, this is your guy. So like I said, it's a little bit stiff right now, but this relaxes and then it turns out to be perfect. So there you have it. That's how I curl my hair with the curling iron. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. This is linked not only on YouTube, but also on my blog post, where you can find all kinds of other things about hair, makeup, you name it, including today's makeup look. Um, it'll be on the blog as well. Um, and like I mentioned earlier, I also have a video for how I curl my hair with a curling wand. So anything you need, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching.